Today I want to talk to you about this, the Kaiju from FPV Tech. Now this is a dual band patch antenna designed to be used with the DJI FPV goggles version 2 and the DJI FPV drone. Now this antenna is designed to give you the best possible performance from this system and what we're going to do in today's video is give you an overview of the antenna itself show you how to mount it on the goggles version 2 and then at the end i'm going to give you my thoughts having spent a bit of time with this now just to be clear up front fpv tech did send me this for free however they have not seen this video before i have published it and they have had no input into the content my thoughts on this are entirely my own based on my own observations and testing anyway let's get on with it and let's take a closer look at the antenna first of all Okay, so taking a closer look at the Kaiju. Now this is a dual band 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz antenna designed to be used on the FPV goggles version two when used with the DJI FPV drone. Now taking a look inside the box, when you go inside, the first thing you'll find is the patch antenna itself located in the center. We have two SMA cables, which allow us to actually connect to the antenna ports on the goggles version two. And there are a couple of thumb screws located down here. Now lifting the antenna out, you will see on the front that it is made from injected molded plastic. You can see with FPV tech listed on the front and then flipping it over to the back, you will find a 3D printed goggles mount and that replaces the face plate on the front of the goggles version two. The back plate, which is made of metal and you can see then we've got our antenna outputs here as well. Now, because this antenna came to me directly from FPV tech, they have actually engraved it with my name along here as well as the channel name down here as well. Now, this isn't something that's special to me. They will do this for you as well if you order the antenna directly from them. Now, this antenna is made in the USA, fully designed in the USA and made by FPV Tech themselves. Now, just to give you some specifications on this, its size is about 195 mil wide by 100 mil tall or about seven and three quarter inches by four inches. And the antenna panel itself weighs 145 grams. Now you may think, well, this is quite a large antenna and it is. And the reason for that is to allow it to actually work on that 2.4 gigahertz band. Now, whilst there is no gain specs around this, this antenna has been tested in real world conditions up to 15.4 kilometers or 9.6 miles. So it can add a dramatic amount of improvement to the signal reception when using the FPV drone. Now, this is a patch antenna, which means it is a directional antenna and it has a VSWR of two to one. And because it is directional, it does have some field of view that you do need to be aware of and that is how directive the antenna itself is now it depends on what frequency we're talking about are on this so for instance in 5.8 gigahertz horizontally it has a directivity of 55 degrees and in 2.4 gigs it's 75 degrees then vertically in 5.8 it's 65 degrees and in 2.4 70 degrees so because it is a directional patch antenna you you will need to make sure that you are pointing yourself towards the FPV drone at all times when using it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get this mounted on my goggles version two, take it out for a flight, and then I'm going to give you some thoughts having used it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get this mounted on the V2 goggles. Now, just something I want to mention on this, that this antenna is specifically designed for the V2s because it's dual band, supports both the 2.4 and five gigahertz networks. Whilst there's no reason you couldn't mount this on a set of V1s whilst actually using it with the ear units on five gigs only, this really is predominantly aimed at the DJI FPV drone, which is using that dual band frequency. Anyway, let's hop over to the overhead. And what we're going to do now is first of all, we're going to remove the face plate off the front of my existing goggles. Now to do this, it's fairly straightforward. We've just got two screws either side. Now this face plate is really thin metal. I don't understand actually why DJI don't make this out of plastic because it dents and scratches so easily. It's crazy. It really is. I really do wish they'd actually made it out of plastic and that way 
would actually have been a little bit more resilient. So as you can see, it's just a just a little metal plate. Now, the mounting of this antenna is fairly straightforward in the sense we simply need to mount it onto the front of the goggles like this and then put the little screws in on the sides and it is going to be easier to actually use that but they do supply these two thumb screws which do allow you to do it that way as well so what we're going to do is put that like that then sort of give it a bit of a push down screw it in so rather than using the original screws you've got these ones with the nice big heads if you were going to use the originals you're going to have to um get yourself a um an allen key in there but they provide these two that simply allow you to screw it on mount it in place like that next is then the antennas now we're going to be mounting this on to the bottom two patches on this one because that is where you get the best overall results in my opinion on the v2s um what you've got is on the v2s you've got fixed antenna layout so you've got if we look at it from the front here you've got fixed rx on this side fixed tx fixed rx fixed tx so the idea of actually putting one on each means that you're able to actually get the best of both worlds because remember um, your goggles are receiving the signal from the drone but you are also transmitting the signal from the goggles back to the drone which is used for the telemetry link as well so you need to make sure that both signals are getting where they need to be now what I'm going to just do now is just adjust these so cables aren't coiled over too much. Again, we're going to pop that one on. And that is fitment done. It really is that simple. Now, you could rotate these up the other way. So if you wanted to, you could actually rotate it, but you're then putting a lot more bend in that coax the okay just to show you again i've redone the alignment of the coax now so instead of actually having it coming up off the bottom i've got it curled like that over and down on both sides so it's much tidier now there's not too much strain on it and it's going into the antennas nicely like that Okay, so I'm out and about, I've got the antenna mounted on the goggles, so it's time to give it a few flights and then I'll give you my opinion on what I think. Now at the moment I'm flying legally in 25 milliwatts, so the idea of this is to give me an idea of the base feel of how the system behaves with the new antenna on overall and what sort of extra performance from just overall RF point of view we actually get. Okay, so it's a few weeks later and I've been testing the Kaiju from FPV Tech and I want to give you guys my thoughts. Now, I have to say, this antenna does work and it does make quite a substantial difference, especially if you're in CE like I am. Now, I'm not going to give you guys range figures. I'm not going to tell you how far I've flown, but what I will say is this. This antenna will allow you to get to the power limit of your DJI FPV drone. What I mean by that is you will run out of battery before you run out of range. Now, just some interesting observations on this is I've also found it somehow seems to have improved my RC link because often when I was flying with the stock antennas on the V2 goggles, on the FPV drone, I was getting the RC link play up before the goggles. However, with this, both 
do seem to be improved and I do wonder if there's some behavior between the RC link and the goggles and the drone that we don't really know about and with an improved antenna on the goggles is improving the reception on the remote as well you know literally the remote is stock nothing has changed on that but to me the overall wireless range improved on both parts of the system while using this antenna now as for how it feels and fits when in use well when it's on your face as normal on your nose you don't really feel it yes there's some extra weight there however it's solid and there's no issues at all where you will feel it though is when you've got it on your head like this when you're standing still because of that extra weight it does want to pull down so if you are walking around with it you're going to notice compared to the original antennas it's going to want to work its way down your face so you might want to end up taking it off now for me it's not a problem because i'm actually using my custom 3d printed battery strap on the back which holds the dji fpv battery on solid it won't fall off and i can actually now do it one-handed as you can see there without any problems at all and i don't have to worry about that battery keeping jumping off the back of the strap so if you are interested in that i'll put a link to it in the bottom of this video anyway so to give you my thoughts overall i have to say the kaiju does seem to make a big difference to me especially in ce in the overall signal integrity of the dji fpv drone the signal is stronger and clearer and actually a low to medium range it looks absolutely fantastic because you've got that stronger signal all of the time you're not entering that focus mode and you're getting that more detailed image from the fpv system wireless link than you will get when the signal starts to degrade so not only does it give you more range it gives you better overall image quality at short to medium range because you're not getting focus mode and things like that now if you're interested in it i will put a link to it in the description of this video i can't remember what it costs i'll put it up on the screen because i'm out and about um but i do want to thank fpv tech for sending it over they did send it to me for free as i've said at the start however i have to say i am impressed if you're looking at something like this for use with the fpv drone and the ear units there's no reason you can't use this with the dji fpv ear unit as well it's a 5 gig and 2.4 gig antenna however if you were only using ear units i would probably suggest suggest checking out a dedicated five gig antenna but if you're using it with both systems then it'll cover you that way as well anyway that's it for this one as i said i'll put a link to it big thanks to fpv tech please stay safe and i will speak to you guys again soon